the circulatory system. Hello, future medical virtual assistants. Welcome to your go to guide for understanding the human body. Today, we're diving deep into the powerhouse of the body, the circulatory system, focusing on the heart and the incredible journey of blood. Think of it as the body's superhighway, delivering everything cells need to thrive. So, what exactly is the circulatory system? It's a complex network of vessels, with a powerful pump the heart hand, a special delivery fluid blood. Its main job is to transport oxygen and nutrients to all your body's cells and carry away waste products like carbon dioxide. Without it, our cells couldn't function, and we simply wouldn't exist. As a medical assistant, you'll constantly encounter terms and conditions related to this system. So a solid understanding is crucial. Let's start with the star of the show, the heart. This muscular organ, about the size of your fist, is located in the center of your chest, slightly to the left. It's not just one big pump. It's a sophisticated four-chambered marvel. The top two chambers are called the atria, the right atrium and the left atrium. They are the receiving rooms. The bottom two chambers are the ventricles, the right ventricle, and the left ventricle. Think of these as the shipping departments, powerfully pumping blood out of the heart. Now let's follow the blood on its journey. It's a continuous loop, or rather two loops working together. This is called double circulation. We have the pulmonary circuit, which goes to the lungs, and the systemic circuit, which goes to the rest of the body. Let's start our tour in the right atrium. Oxygenated blood which is blood that's low in oxygen and high in carbon dioxide, returns from the body and enters the right atrium. From there, it passes through a valve into the right ventricle. When the right ventricle contracts, it pumps this deoxygenated blood into the pulmonary artery, which leads directly to the lungs. In the lungs, a magical exchange happens. The blood drops off its carbon dioxide, which you then exhale, and picks up fresh oxygen that you've just inhaled. Now, this newly oxygenated bright red blood is ready to power the body. It travels from the lungs through the pulmonary veins and enters the heart again, this time into the left atrium. From the left atrium, the oxygen-rich blood flows into the powerhouse chamber, the left ventricle. The left ventricle has the toughest job. Its walls are thicker and more muscular because it needs to pump blood with enough force to reach every single part of your body from the tips of your toes to the top of your head. When the left ventricle contracts, it pushes the oxygenated blood into the largest artery in the body, the aorta. The aorta is like the main highway trunk. It branches off into smaller and smaller arteries, then into arterioles, and finally into tiny capillaries. These capillaries are where the real work gets done at the cellular level. Here, oxygen and nutrients are delivered to the cells and waste products are picked up. After this exchange, the now deoxygenated blood begins its journey back to the heart. It flows from the capillaries into small veins called venules, which merge into larger veins. Eventually, it all collects in the two largest veins, the superior and inferior vena cava, which empty the deoxygenated blood back into the right atrium, and voila, the cycle begins all over again. This entire incredible process happens with every single beat of your heart. Understanding this flow is essential for your career. When you see a diagnosis like hypertension, it's about the pressure in those arteries. When you hear about a heart murmur, it's often related to those valves not closing properly. Knowing the path of blood helps you understand why symptoms appear where they do and how different conditions affect the entire body. That's a wrap on our tour of the heart and blood flow. It's a fundamental concept that forms the basis of so much in medicine. Mastering it will make you a more confident and effective medical virtual assistant. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more essential medical knowledge. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss our next video. See you in the next one.